with a look at your storm track weather forecast. I'm Dan Martinez. Our last seven days, we've gone from temperatures in the 50s up to the 70s. Wednesday, we saw a temperature of 72 degrees and Friday, 74. And this weekend, we're going to be even warmer than that. Here's a look at our future track computer model just to show you what your Saturday is going to look like. And as we roll the clock forward, this is already at noon. Hitting all the way to 10 o'clock at night, even to the overnight hours. Clear conditions expected even through Sunday morning. A very nice weekend, but definitely warm. And here's our weather setup. We have high pressure practically taking over the southwest, at least through us. And that's going to keep us with that warmer air here in the southwest. And for our friends over in the northeast, while well, they're dealing with the colder air and the moisture staying on top of the jet stream. And well, all because of that, they're seeing more snow in places like Boston. In the meantime, for our forecast, 20% chance of rain on Wednesday. Wednesday, a 30 on Thursday, and then Friday we'll hang on to about a 20% chance of some rain showers in our wind cast now. We'll be watching for winds as well, especially Thursday. 35 mile per hour peak wind gusts expected. In the meantime, today, 74 for Guadalupe Pass. Windy conditions are expected in this area of far west Texas. 78 for Van Horn, 40 for Van Horn tonight. Temperatures in the 60s for Rio Doso, 54 Cloudcroft, and 29 tonight for them. 72 for Silver City and for Tier C. Tonight, 40 degrees for Tier C. El Paso, 76 for us today, dropping to 44 tonight with those clear skies. Las Cruces, 73 for us today and 37 tonight. Here's your 7-day forecast. The weekend looks very nice if you're a fan of those warmer temperatures. 74 for your Monday, 73 for Tuesday, and then notice Thursday, 55 degrees is our high temperature with a 30% chance of rain. Windy conditions expected, and those overnight conditions will be shifting, or the temperatures rather, will be shifting from the 40s into the 30s by the end of your 7-day forecast.